welcome to all in this lecture we are going to learn about symmetric key cipher and its types symmetric key cipher using the symmetric algorithm for the encryption and decryption process it uses the single key between sender and receiver that key is called public key the symmetric key having advantages like speed but it having disadvantages also like security and management problem because of the single key process see we are having encryption algorithm and decryption algorithm through this the entire process we are using only a single key here the sender is called alice and the receiver is called bob alice want to send a plain text in a secure way to bob so he is using a encryption algorithm to convert the plain text into cipher text among the cipher text it includes shared secret key shared key and the cipher text goes to bob system bob again decrypt the cipher text with the help of a decryption algorithm along with this shared secret key after he get plain text this is happened between the help of secure key exchange channel the formula is encryption decryption c equal to e key of plain text and decryption is we are replacing um cipher text for to get the plain text next we are going to learn about the categories of traditional symmetric key cipher it can be broadly categorized into two types one is substitution cipher another one is transposition cipher in the substitution cipher we are having mono alphabetic poly alphabetic and the transposition cipher also having few of the types so the first one is substitution cipher substitution cipher is a classical encryption technique it uses only one symbol with another it cannot use more than one symbol for the same letter see we are having the table in this table the plain text is a b c d like um, up to z for the alphabets we are having cipher text and the corresponding values so these values and numbers are helps to create the cipher text let me see the types of substitution ciphers the first type is mono alphabetic cipher in this mono alphabetic cipher the plain text is converted into cipher text along with the one to one mapping what does mean by one to one mapping means one character is mapped with the uh, one character it repeats again in the sentence with means uh, we are using the same letter once again for example here they are given hello letter um hello the cipher text first letter is k so uh, we can moving three letters forward from k sorry forward from h the third place is i j k from the letter h so we are having the letter k see let me see see hello the i j k with the help h equal to k and e f g h so we put h for e and l after the three letter of l is o so we are using o again we are having l so we put o because it is a mono alphabetic letter and the last letter is o from the o we are having the third letter is called r so i put or here so for the letter hello we are having the cipher text k h o r r this is the method to do mono alphabetic cipher next one is we are having the um, categories of uh, mono alphabetic cipher that is additive cipher in this additive cipher we are having a formula between alice and bob in the encryption decryption process the formula for cipher text is plain text plus key mod 26 because we are having 26 letters in the alphabets so p plus k k means a key we are giving key along with the plain text uh, using this formula we are have encrypt the plain text into cipher text let me see the example here uh, we are having the plain text hello the key is 15 so the first letter is 7 so seven formula is p plus key 
mod 26. So 15 plus 7 is equal to 22. So 22 is less than 26. So simply we have written the letter. We have written the text 22. Corresponding 22 having the ciphertext is W from the table, from this table. So, through this method, we are encrypted all the letters. The formula is P plus K mod 26. So, hello, the first letter H replaced with the letter W. And E replaced with the letter T, L is replaced with the letter A, A and again L is replaced with the letter A because uh, this are all comes under the monoalphabetic method. And the last one is O is replaced with the letter D. So the encryption is uh, W, T, A, A, D. This is the working methodology of additive cipher. Next we move on to CISA cipher. So CISA cipher is oftenly called shift cipher. Because we are moving forward for the encryption techniques, Juliet ceases using this additive cipher methodology to communicate uh, his uh, with officers to transfer the message. So, ceases cipher using the additive cipher technology for the encryption process. This is often called shift cipher also. So, we are having an example. Meet me tomorrow is the plain text. We are getting P, H, H, W and me, P, H and tomorrow is having this couple of words. Uh, how we can get this letters means uh, from the letter of M, we are having three letters. We can forward uh, three letters. We get the letter P. See, from this table, we can get uh, easily, we can understand the meaning. So, M, M, after M, the next third letter is M, N, O, P. So, equal letter for M is P. Likewise, E, the third letter is H. So, that's why in C cipher, we get P, H, H, W, P, H and W or P, R, U, U or Z for our ciphertext. And crypt analysis is the next chapter. So, cryptography is the art of making secret codes and crypt analysis is the art of breaking the secret codes. So, we are having so many attacks in the crypt analysis. The famous attack is called the brute force attacks. Brute force attacks means we are finding the um, error and trial method for the encryption words. Through the encryption word plain text, we can try to get the ciphertext and plain text. So, here we are having um, the plain text is not very secure, but we are having only ciphertext. The ciphertext starts with U and ends with L. The Eve having the key 1 to 7, he tries from the key number 1 to 7. At last, the key 7, he is getting the correct plain text for this ciphertext that is not very secure. So, Cryptanalysis is the science of breaking the secret code. So next. This cryptanalysis can be done with the help of diagrams and trigrams. So diagrams is uh, combinations of two letters. So this is the frequency of letters uh, which was used in the plain text. And trigrams is the three letter combinations. Okay. So we are having on a couple of uh, ciphertext here. Through this ciphertext, I can found the letter I frequency is 14 and V frequency is 13, S frequency is 12. So, I can replace the letter for I. Wherever I can see I, I can replace with the letter G. So, through this method, I can get the plain text. The house is now for sale. For 4 million dollars, it's worth more Harry before the seller receives more offers. So, this method is called statistical attack. Statistical attacks based on the frequency of letters used in the ciphertext. 
Next, we move on to multiplicative cipher. Multiplicative cipher is a like to additive cipher. Um, except we are using a multiplication symbol in the formula. Additive cipher, the formula is P plus K. But here we are using P multiplication K mod 26 for the cipher text. So let me see the example. Yes, the same word we are having hello. So we are applying in the multiplication formula. My key is 7. So the first uh, letter is K. Sorry, H. That frequency is 7. So 7 into 7, 49 mod 26. Mm -hmm. 49 mod 26 means we have to 49 mod 26. One time 26 in 49. So the remaining is 3 and 2. So this 23 is the first cypertext for my hello. So the 23 denotes the letter 20. Uh, 3 denotes the letter X. Yes, X. So through this uh, method, I am decrypting or sorry, I am encrypting all the letters. So finally, I get X is it, X C is it, is it U. Next, we are moving to affine cipher. Affine is the combination of additive cipher and multiplicative cipher. We are using addition and multiplication in the process of ciphertext. See, here we are having the image of a ciphertext process. First, I am converting my plain text into T. After getting the T, I am converting T to C. So, first P into K1 and second one is the result of T plus K2. So, I am having one multiplicative and additive. So, this is the combination of affine cipher. Here is the example of affine cipher. My word is hello. I am having a pair of keys. One is 7 and 2. So, the letter is 7. First of all, P into K1. So, 7 into 7, 49. Plus 2, 51. 51 mod 26. The remaining I am getting 25. The 25 letter, um, 25 the letter is Z. Likewise, I am getting all the encryption letters for the word hello. Z, E, B, B, W. At last, we are having the last one is called monoalphabetic substitution cipher. In monoalphabetic substitution cipher, it, it is a basically a replacement of all the additive, multiplicative and affine cipher because all these uh, ciphers are um, affected by the attacks cryptanalysis like brute force and uh, statistical. So, to avoid these attacks, we can move to monoalphabetic cipher. Monoalphabetic cipher is a shuffled alphabets. We can use any number of format methods through this uh, 26 letters. See, A, B, C, D up to Z. I am using the ciphertext N, O, A, T, R. There is no order followed here. We can do any order for the encryption and decryption process. But throughout the process, we can use the same ciphertext for our process. See, we are having one example. The plain text is, this message is easy to encrypt but hard to find the key. So, we can find the cipher text. So, first letter is T. I am having T. The equal cipher text is I. So, I can write I. The next letter I. It is a C. And I. I am going to table F. Yes, I C. The next letter is S. Yes, uh, we are having cipher text V. So, likewise, I am doing all the letters from the ciphertext table. So, at last I get the ciphertext I, C, F, V, Q or W, W up to S. Yes. So, these are all the different techniques that was used in traditional symmetric key ciphers. So, traditional symmetric key ciphers having two major techniques. One is monoalphabetic, another one is um, polyalphabetic. So, in the last slide, I am giving activity for you. Try to find the answer for your own.
calculations here i am mentioning the method the first sum is using addition